Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to give you guys a full review of the Apple Wireless keyboard. I got this keyboard a week ago and I just want to give you guys my full review of it. So as you can see, the keyboard is very thin. It's made out of aluminum as it as it is with the MacBooks, the iMacs, Mac Pros. So it's all covered in aluminum. Apple still kept with the um, low, prof, low profile keys so they're nice and responsive um, if you're coming from an old Apple keyboard with the big keys um, it takes a while to get used to these but I got used to this probably in 10 minutes you still get your Apple shortcut buttons up top to activate expose, dashboard, and your screen brightness on this you have your um, function control option and command keys and the arrow keys on this side are a little squished together but it does take a little bit of getting used to that I, I didn't bother using that because I just used my mouse to scroll up and down things on the side it has a power button and when you press that button it turns the little green light green and on the other side you get a coin slot, you take a quarter and you slip it out and then the batteries come and so it runs off three AA batteries on um, positive going into the uh, unit on the back it has a glossy back uh, you, if you look hard you can see yourself you get um, a few bumpers you get a bumper there, a bumper here two little bumpers down here you get an Apple logo in the middle and you get your Bluetooth chip right here now this is a stronger Bluetooth chip that was in the previous Apple keyboard a lot of people were complaining that it disconnected a lot from their MacBook or their iMac so Apple updated their Bluetooth chip and the Bluetooth um, software that comes on the Mac so if you're running the old Bluetooth software um, I would suggest check your uh, software updates on your system. It connects via Bluetooth. Um, connects right out of the box. You just um type in the passcode on the keyboard, and it connects to the um computer. Now, um, some bad things about it is that uh, I really have too many problems. The only problem I have um seen is that it doesn't work with some um drivers. Windows 7. I was using Windows 7 on my iMac to do some st stuff on Windows and this keyboard wouldn't work at all. I, I did some um, s Google searching for bootcamp drivers for it and it didn't work. Vista drivers didn't work so uh, Apple has to make new drivers to the keyboard in order to work but um, if you want to use this on Windows try Windows XP or Vista if you want to use it on Windows if you're going to do anything on Windows. Now it doesn't take up too much space on the desk. Uh, if you saw my room tour video, you guys see that the Apple keyboard was sort of like was sort of like together, and it had it had a number pad on the side. So I really like that Apple it doesn't include the number pad option of the Bluetooth keyboard. But if you're a video editor and you need the Bluetooth and you need the number pad, um, keep keep the one you got and um wait until Apple updates it. Now there is a wired version of the same keyboard but um, but I think that's um, $59.99 but I recommend getting this because it's just a lot better than the wired ones. So anyway guys that's my full review. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.